this is a simple uh, tutorial on the basics of Illustrator. I will be going through the fundamentals of the black and the white arrow key and the fill and the outline and also how to use the pathfinder and how to manipulate text and typography. Okay, so the first task is um, making the circle, the square, and the triangle, as you can see in this column. First of all, though, is thinking about the difference between the black and the white arrow key. So the black one, it works very similar to the selection tool in Photoshop, where you make things bigger and smaller. So you can see that I can stretch, or I can enlarge, and if you press shift down, it will do it in proportion. So I can do that with a circle, a square, or a triangle. The white arrow is the direct selection. Now each one of each object is made out of anchor points, which you can see here, or paths. And you can actually uh, click on the object. If it was all selected, you wouldn't you would just be moving it like this. So you need to individually select the anchor point. So you click off the object and click on, and you can see individually I can transform the object. So it's very different from the black uh, arrow. And you might ask, why do we use Illustrator instead of Photoshop? And the reason why is because it's made out of vectors instead of pixels. And I can show you easily that if I zoom in to my object, you can see that there is no pixels. It is just a clear image, and it's the same with this. If it was Photoshop, it would be made out of little squares. So the first thing is to make a row, like here, of a circle, a triangle, and a square. And to do that, you need to use the uh, rectangle and the shape building tool. So go, first of all, make a circle, fairly straightforward. And you'll notice here that it's actually filled with black, and it has no stroke. So if I clicked on the black, I could change the color. I was double clicking. And if I clicked on the stroke, I could go up here or here, and you'll see that there is now an outline. And I can sh see that if I zoom in. To get rid of the stroke, you just click on the stroke and you press the none, and it will get rid of it. And it's the same with the fill. So, I want a row of a circle, a square, and a triangle. So there's my circle. I just drag to it, and I've got also uh, the star tool is actually just generally the shapes. So I can click onto here and double click. You'll see that I've got points, and I can actually click and make a triangle, and I can make a square by going to the rectangle tool and making a square. Now I've done that onto the side, but I want to do that onto the top row. So make your circle, your triangle, and your square. You can fill it if you want to on the top row. Okay, next thing that I want to do is actually make these kind of shapes that you'll notice that they've been cut into. They've been cut into by the shapes. So here, is a circle that's been chopped in two. So I will make a circle and I will make a triangle. And I will rotate my triangle. And I want to cut into that circle with the triangle. So I do that by using the shape builder tool. There's the shape builder, it's the top one. Now I can, if I just dragged into it, 
I would be adding the shapes together. You'll notice that they have to be selected. If they weren't selected and I try to do it, they would not be able to join. So you have to select them using the black arrow. Now, I don't want to, I want to chop into them. So I press the Alt key down on your keyboard and I drag and then I can cut into my shape. So on the third, on the second row, I want you to try different things of cutting into the shapes. So cut in using the star, cut in using the circles, the triangles, and create the shapes, or you can even add into them as well. So that would be the task on your second row. So you've got square, circle, triangle on the top, and then you've got them cutting into on the second, and try different colors as well. To remind, remind you about the colors, you just double click, and you can change the color like that. Okay, on the third row, I want to introduce you to type. So the text tool is this one here, the type tool. And we could just make a J. And you got the sizes at the top automatically. You make that into a bigger tool, a bigger size. You can make it really big. Or you can just put the number in if you want to make it bigger. Now, this is still text, so it's still editable as text. I can add to it if I wanted to by just clicking next to it. Um, but I want to actually cut into the shape or manipulate it in more. So you have to do that by going to type and to create outlines. Now it is an editable object. So by using the white arrow, I can actually now drag the anchor points to make it bigger and smaller, but also I can cut into it by using a shape. So I can actually get a circle, cut and do exactly as I do the object. I can cut into that using the shape builder tool. Again, by pressing Alt down, I can cut into my shape. So just play around with getting your letters more kind of rounded, or just play around with that. So there's a smaller, weirder J now. Okay, I can also create, as you can see here, my shape, my text to go along a path. Now to do that, I would use the pen tool, which you can see here, the paintbrush tool, make my shape and click onto it and use the type on a path tool, click hold, and then if I can make my text a bit smaller, so maybe we're going to 70, I can make my name run along, can't spell my name, on the path. And then once I click off, the line has gone. So it just looks like that. Okay, so there's the basics of creating shape so play around with doing that so on the third row down if you can play around with type and if you can play around with type on a path as well um, and then go on to uh, lesson two on the basics of illustrator